New Central's Bernard Okede, who also monitored the pre-hearing proceedings of the presidential election petition tribunal from Lagos, Nigeria, Commercial Hub, has this report. The announcement of a winner by INEC at the end of Nigeria's presidential election in April saw a plethora of complaints that culminated in the leading opposition parties deciding to challenge the results in court. Now, after a long wait, the Election Petitions Tribunal commenced its sittings in Abuja, the nation's capital, on Monday. So these are essentially what the proceedings of today is, is meant for. It is not for the hearing of the petition itself. What the matter will be coming up today essentially is what we call the pre-hearing session, which is essentially a preliminary proceedings where certain matter will be attended to. They will now determine when each of the various petitioners will present their cases, the number of days that will be available to them. They will also resolve whether there are documents that the parties are agreeable on, on the ones that, that the parties are disputing. In faraway Lagos, the country's financial capital, the import of these process is not lost on the citizens. Some say, regardless of who wins in court, all they wish for is a better Nigeria. My expectation is that um, the court will do justice in the matter. The court will look at all facts and evidence placed before it and do the right thing. If anybody that won the election should just lead Nigeria very well. For some other Nigerians, the case is different. They have questions about the integrity of the judicial system. They hinge some of their skepticism on history. I'm not being negative, but I think the Nigeria effect will still take place. It's good that P2B wants to pursue this cause. At least it gives people hope. But we all know what Nigeria is all, what Nigeria is all about. The, this government has not been the type that obeys uh, court rules and all that. Personally, I don't believe in our judiciary aims. But I would love it if justice takes its, its place. Because the will of the people cannot just be decided by just some people sitting at one corner of the office. There are others in Nigeria who believe the elections petition trial will be a lengthy and intriguing trial. I'm also hoping that we can have the, the hearings televised and broadcast live for Nigerians to sit in the comfort of their homes and watch the proceedings and make their lo lo logical and draw logical inferences. And yeah. I think that will go a long way to strengthen to democratize the process and to also give credibility and transparency to the process. Regardless of which side the electoral petition pendulum swings, and no matter how long it takes, there will be a winner and a loser. For Nigerians, irrespective of who emerges, what is most important is that the eventual winner has what it takes to take Nigerians to the proverbial promised land. Bernard Akede, reporting for New Central.